Hey guys, it's girl Jemaya back at it again with another motherfucking YouTube video. And I'm coming at you guys today. I was supposed to do this a long, long, long time ago, but I kind of forgot to edit it and I deleted the clips. So we're back again months later. And during the coronavirus, we're doing a skincare routine. So yeah, I'm gonna just hop right into it. I really don't want to do a voiceover. So I'm just gonna kind of talk to y'all while I'm doing it. And yo, let's get this video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is wash your hands. Since we got the coronavirus going on, even if you haven't been outside, it's always best to wash your hands in case you come in contact with any other people. And you know, you don't want to be touching your face with all those germs. So baby wash those hands mm -hmm. okay so now that your hands are already wet baby all I do is let me put these here. Um, just wet your face like this all the way around and then take whatever cleanser you got today. We're using Miss Bud's Hemp Skin Care Organic Hemp Seed Oil Gentle Foaming Face Cleanser. I just got this. It's been working really good and if I don't use that then I use Cetaphil um, gentle foaming cleanser. I always use gentle foaming cleansers. I don't really use stuff that's like catered to acne because it tends to dry my skin out a lot. And I have really oily skin, so then it just starts producing more. And that's not good. So just take it and rub it all the way around. And I usually do this for like 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm gonna speed this up for y'all because I know y'all wanna be here for that long. Okay. Now I take either a paper towel or a washcloth. Honestly, a paper towel would be better for this, and I don't have any with me right now. But I'm just washing your face off with like, um, a dry one, and try to get one that's either like a baby one or one that don't got no dyes in it because you don't want artificial dyes and fragrances and all that other stuff that the washcloths be coming with nowadays in your skin. I literally only have one pimple guys and I'm so well it's going away now but I'm so happy because if you know me my skin be breaking out a lot and I'm getting freckles now which I'm very psyched about. If you know me you girls always want freckles and I'm very light skinned so if you see my face turning red it's not irritation well it's irritation but it's not bad it's just because I'm light. So I literally don't do much to my skin. So the next step that I do, this is literally like the final step, honestly. After this, I'm just gonna give you guys tips. So yeah, the next step is to take aloe vera gel. If you see my other skincare routine, I always make some type of concoction to help with like bumps and dark spots. So this is that concoction. We got tea tree oil. And everybody says don't put like direct tea tree oil on your face. I do it anyways. I don't really care. It doesn't burn me or anything. I've been using tea tree oil for like forever. Honestly, if it's like 100% tea tree oil, then you most definitely will have to dilute it. But if not, then I feel like it's fine if you just put this on your face. But I'm going to mix it with water anyways because that's a part of the concoction. So, next, get your water. Just wet your hand, honestly. And get some aloe vera. I guess this much is enough. It honestly doesn't matter. As much as you think you might need. And I'm gonna get just a tad bit more water. And rub it all over. 
rub that together. And I'm gonna get a little bit more water. <laughs> until it's like a watery consistency, but you can still feel the gel on your face. Well, on your hands. Okay. <coughs> I'm choked. Now you're just gonna get this and put it all over. And no, I don't wash this off. Cause a lot of people put aloe vera on and then they wash it off, but I don't. So that's that and then we're just gonna wait for this to dry honestly you can honestly you don't have to because it'll end up drying anyways you can go ahead and put like a couple drops of tea tree oil a couple is like seven but <laughs> for me at least um and put that over your face now i have oily skin so yeah just take that into consideration before you start doing any of this because I know everybody's skin is different. Even if you do have oily skin, your skin might not react good to this because I know a whole bunch of people with oily skin, they um, they don't really do good with oil, but like my skin doesn't really care. I just make this paste kind of thing on my face and it tends to get rid of my bumps. As you can see, there are no bumps on this side. There are no bumps on this side no bumps right here and the only bump i have on my forehead was right there these are all scars that i'm trying to get rid of but yeah sis's skin is doing way better if you know me you know i have acne prone skin so at the fact that it's clear right now is really good because you know coronavirus is low-key giving me a little break from stress in school so yeah sis has been doing well i'm gonna keep letting this dry while i give y'all my tips okay so the first tip I have, honestly, drink water. When I drink water, I see a big difference in my skin. I don't drink, I'm, I don't drink water like that. Like it's kind of bad. But I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. Like I don't drink water that often. Um, if I do, it's in very little quantities, especially because I haven't really been eating like that. Why have I not been eating? I don't, I don't know. I just haven't really felt hungry like I usually do after school but I also that could be stress eating because school stresses me the freak out so that could be a reason why um yeah drink lots of water um make sure your diet stays mainly healthy I've been eating a lot better recently since um the we've been on lockdown for corona i haven't been getting fast food or any of that other stuff um i've been eating home cooked meals literally almost every day i've probably had fast food like twice since we've been on lockdown oh it looks really weird and we've been on lockdown for like on going on three weeks so yeah no fast food well <coughs> not no fast food but minimal amounts of fast food um face masks um a lot of people don't use face masks well i mean a lot of people do use face masks but they don't use the right ones y'all just use the little charcoal peely thingies to get your blackheads out of your nose baby you need it for your whole face this is the one now if you have sensitive skin like me i don't like i make the paste super like it tells you how much to like do it i make it very 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 like as watery as i can get it that it's still a face mask and it still has some like consistency to it but i can't make it thick because the thicker it is the longer i have to keep it on my face for it to dry and the longer it starts irritating my face and when i take it off i look like a tomato because you know it has like it like a chemical reaction is uh, like occurring with the mixing of this and the freaking apple cider vinegar which is why it starts sizzling so i mean if you want that and you're okay with that on your face go ahead by all means let me put on some lip gloss my lips is looking chat by all means do that um but i tend i can't talk i tend to make it a little bit more milkier just because it doesn't like dry my face up that much and also Along with this, I use any Freeman mask, honestly. They're just wonderful. All skin types, use those. 
stay away from the really i mean i use some of the sparkly ones but that's just on like occasion when i feel like being cute but like if you're trying to look for some that are actually going to benefit your skin this and the freeman mask are wonderful i haven't really tried any other ones so if i do i'll let you guys know but for now this is all i can really dodge for and i love it because it pulls everything out of your skin have you snatched your skin looking flawless baby period change your sheets your covers your pillows don't keep on sleeping on the same thing over and over again with your face oils accumulating no don't do that don't do that don't do that so i suggest sleeping on a pillow that you can change the covers so if you have like a fluffy pillow that you always sleep on like sleep on it every once in a while but like don't use that as your daily pillow because then if you keep on using it you can't really wash it some little throw pillows i mean you can wash them but it's gonna be you know what I'm trying to say. Get a get a like case, like a like a pillowcase that you can take off every week or whenever you need to and clean it and do what you gotta do. Stop touching your face. I don't touch my face anymore unless I see a pimple and that's just to see if it's actually a pimple, like to touch it to see if it has like if it's raised above my skin or not. And then I leave it alone. I pop my pimples every now and then. I need to stop doing that but I mean it doesn't really like okay I have some scar like as you can see I have some scars like right here that's a scar but like most of my scars have gone away and that's because I know what to do to take care of them so if you want to pop your pimples go ahead but if you don't know how to get your scars back together don't do it but you're good now because I just taught you how to get your scars back together with the aloe vera and the tea tree oil baby and that's on period I think that's about it because honestly I don't really do much for my skin I was trying out birth control for like since August and I just got off of it and my like I was breaking out really bad when I was on the birth control and now my skin is doing way better and the birth control wasn't even working for my cramps so there was really no need for me to even be taking it anymore so I was like I'm done and now my skin is doing better so I mean if birth control works for you then good if it doesn't I suggest to just stop taking it and just get yourself a skincare routine like me and yeah you should be good so that's gonna be it for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment 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 guys comment and tell me what videos you want to see because honestly I have all the time in the world and I don't know what videos to make or what videos you guys will like so let me know what you guys want to see um I made a video, my last video was telling you guys about all my new social medias. My social medias are going to be in the description box below. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of pages that have, excuse me, that have hacked me. So, well not hacked me, but like made fake pages of me. So a whole bunch of people are kind of confused as to which page is actually mine. And my Instagram is Maya Danielle. My TikTok is Jemiah Danielle. My Twitter is Jemiah Danielle. My Snapchat is Batty underscore Maya. It's been that way since like 7th grade. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are my socials. DM me on there. Any questions? If you don't want to comment, you can DM me. Any YouTube video suggestions? I respond back most of the time. Just let me know that you are a subscriber, so I won't know. Like, so I won't think that you're like some creepy person because I get a lot of creepy DMs. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today's video. So I love you guys. Peace.